All right, guys, um, we started with the sketch and then uh, I explained some also basics um, of how to do the, the oil pastels, um, uh, some principles. Um, so yes, the sketch, of course, we see the main diagonal, yeah, with the, um, so with the bar and the legs, yeah, so we can also then plan it's pretty up here. Yeah, you can maybe draw some like thinner line if it helps you. Yeah, then I have it here in the bar. And so sometimes it's good to remember like measuring, I told you. Let's say I can put this like for one, yeah, denser. And then I see, okay, yeah, so it's bigger or I can compare it then more than the middle. Yeah, so let's say I can take somewhere here. And then I say, okay, that will be the back of uh, the dancer, the first one, yeah? And, and maybe I try to sketch the back. Um, and I try to jump quickly, yes? Um, then I say, maybe I try to sketch the, um, uh, the arms of the first one, because then it helps me if it's not fitting, then uh, I can can move it, yeah. So, and okay, the, the neck, the head, the head also always a little bit bigger than you tend to to draw. Somehow it's, um, it's also it happens that everyone tends to put the head a bit smaller. So, just on purpose, do the hair a bit bigger, but with oil pastels, of course. Uh, and uh, and then yeah so sometimes it's also for example if you have like here picture is ready you can compare also empty spaces so I can see okay like the empty space of triangle and like anything that helps you to define where the, the point of um, of the line that you're searching is yeah and for example. Also, I can measure, let's say, uh, from the waist till the end of the dress. Yes, and then I can, can compare it with any other measure that I already have. Let's say like sh shoulders and elbow, yeah, more or less the same. And then I can, it also can help me define also some... And of course, it's um, practicing. The more you sketch, the better you get, uh, like your eyes, it's, um, you train it. And then later by sketching it, uh, it became, became more precise. So like we've talked to the guy, yeah, spent so much time sketching. Them. And yeah, and then the legs, let's say again, we can, it's the typical, so just draw a straight line up vertical and see where, it hits, yeah? So the leg on the left hits the shoulder. So this is also where I can put it. And Daniel? Yes? I'm sorry. Um, it, it, um, it's very, very quick. Can you just pause sorry, just sorry. a little bit? Because uh, I, I haven't done people in, I think, yeah, never. Yeah. I think I never. And it's so difficult. I... Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Marina. Yeah, sorry. Um, um... I'm still like trying to get the torsos, you know, like well, yeah. because it's, it doesn't look like people yet. But. Good, good. Yeah, let, let me get back. Yeah, so um, yeah, thanks for. So yeah, I had made this diagonal for the bar, let's say. Yeah, and then from this diagonal, then I start playing around. So I built this shape of torso that looks a bit maybe like this, this the tra trapeze, like the cut triangle. And yeah, putting dresses also might help. Um, so you have the, the part of the back and then just defining the line. And also when you do the dress, uh, it's kind of always just put the line more on top than the body is, yes? Even if in real life, maybe it really <sighs> nice. So where are you then, Evie? 
Yeah, so today, uh, lots of greetings from Italy, from the Sicily. And yeah, well, honestly, wow. I'm having a great time here. <laughs> Good. So I, I was even joking, I might miss my plane back home. <laughs> yeah. You're know, like, oops. But, but um, okay. okay. So um, yeah, let's continue with sketch. Um, the moment, remember, I told you like checking the vertical. Yeah. So for the legs, it's very obvious this uh, exercise. You just prolong the line, see where it ends. Yeah. Let's say the leg on the right, it ends in the elbow. Yes. And then it's easy way to, to sketch it. Otherwise, you know, then you feel the. Um, uh, yeah, the person's kind of falling and, you know? and also, for example, it's such a little tip when doing people, um, sometimes it's, you kind of on purpose draw them a little bit thinner <laughs> or longer, yeah, on the, on the drawing, it looks somehow. Um, also imagine that the um, oil pastels is such a medium that, um, of course, it requires more space. It's not like uh, pencils, yeah, markers where you can get very thin, yeah. And so even like those lines, then I I was doing just with a soft pencil. So all passes require space, and it's hard to get into small, tiny, tiny details. I mean, still you can sometimes, but um, um, all right, Marina, how's your sketch? I think it's all right. Okay. Uh, um, I, think I'm re I think I have everything. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So, <laughs> it's, um, right. if you want, you can send it or, um, yeah. So um, if anyone wants, can send the sketch, but if you feel fine and share, um, yeah. So also maybe in the sketch, you can kind of mark a little bit stronger some lines, the lines that um, the guy has, yeah, um, somewhere. So, it, so should we keep some of the lines permanently? Uh, I mean, uh, so in the end anyway, like all those uh, black lines, I was creating them on top, yeah. Um, and we will do them, so because it's a part yeah, of, of painting. So while you do the sketch, sometimes it's uh, like for you to easier to be later, you already can um, just do a bit stronger those lines and later you work. But will them. they be um, done with the pastel, uh, um, with the, what's it called, pastels, yeah. oil pastel? Yeah, so everything is with pastels, but these uh, black lines I did just with uh, a soft pencil, just usual black pencil, uh, exactly because they are, you know, sometimes you can have um, mm -hmm. pastels in this kind of uh, also, so not in the sticks, yeah. yeah, but like a pencil, then it's easier. And you but have, mm -hmm. we have to do them right now. No, 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 it's, uh, we will do them also during the painting, okay. but it's like generally when you have the sketch, then already you can think of some parts that, you know, maybe might be darker and kind of pre-work pre them. Um, yeah, so, but, um, okay, sorry, got, mm -hmm. got confused. Um, all right, uh, if you have any spare paper, you can use it, uh, we will do few exercises. I mean, I will show you, you can just watch, or if you have just extra paper, you can um, try. So just about uh, using the pastels and what kind of medium it is. And so, for example, when I just, I paint it. Yeah? And that's the general way how people use the pastels. Yeah, so you just kind of go. But what happens if you just press it a bit, stronger, yes, then it becomes like it covers better. And so 
you can vary yeah this is just like as if it's a pencil and then i can a bit stronger and then it comes just almost like an oil yeah um, so um mixing in oil pastels you kind of do it all the time here it's not important to start from light to dark um, as we do it in acrylics especially watercolors yeah so I can have something yeah, very, very dark. And then I can um, sit some lighter lines on top. Uh, yeah, so um, it, it works, yeah, so. And um, mixing, there are basically um, two ways. So either you do the kind of, I put a lot, yeah, and so um, it's called like physical mixing, yes? And uh, sometimes I wanna have some color lighter. So I have my orange and then I'll take maybe some yellow and some part will become lighter. Or with white, you can, you know, have it more pale, yeah? So I use it also, let's say I put it and some part I want to have it not so bright. I put white on top and it, it lowers. Um, or you can have an um, optical mix. It's meaning I do some strokes and then in between I do some other strokes. Yeah, and so they're not maybe mixed as much physically, but just by yeah, uh, having them. So I put in between and then I, some shadow creates. Um, maybe in your box, you can find also two, um, it's called like medium, it's like extender. So it gives, doesn't really give color, but it helps a bit to blur, like to, to physically mix. This job you can also do by your finger. Yeah, so some people prefer, of course, then you get messy and, uh, but with the, especially the wet um, paper towel, yeah, you can easily clean your hands. But so, yeah, sometimes you can find and you wonder what's this thing, it's not painting. Uh, this is this medium that helps to, um, to, to blend the colors in between. And um, Okay, I hope internet will, will stay. There is very another uh, technique that in this painting we will not have it, but uh, it calls as uh, graffito. It is when first, let's say you apply somewhere some very light color, and then you just cover all on top, you cover with, with dark color, yes. And then you take something sharp, yes? And then you can do the lines like this. And then you have the, yeah, the light. You know, maybe it's the grass or something. And yeah, so this is graffito. It's also nice to know and use. We got again. Yeah. Okay, like, sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, let's repeat. So this graffito is, um, let me check it's internet, okay. Um, so you take, let's say, light color, yeah, so any color, yeah, like, let's say, I take orange, and I cover the area, so what, what it will be, yeah, let's say I want to show the grass, uh, yeah, and, um, and then you take dark, and then I take violet now, and you just go on top your, yeah, so just, Really covering. Okay, this one is not really working. Something darker. Yes. So all my space becomes very dark. But then you can take any, you can take palette knife, you can take the end of your brush. Yeah, here I use some from the pen. And then it works that it takes the upper layer. Yeah? And with this sharp object, you can. Yeah? So, but as I said, in, in the ballerina's painting, we, there is no this. I mean, one can find and um, 
And it also works like cleaning. Sometimes when I did the ballerina, sometimes, oh, I got too messy. So I just, with the pellet knife, I could just scrape a bit. I can scrape the, um, the oil pastels if it's too messy and then, then I go on top a bit more fresh. Yeah. What's the, um, in general, when you use oil pastels, it's not like you take one color, you paint and then you put it aside. It's literally, I have five, six, seven um, colors at the same time and you jump, you take one, you take two, you back, back to one. So this is the constant. Um, yeah, but we started, you will, you will notice it. And um, yeah, so just feel it. How you, when you move your um, oil pasta lightly, yes. And then just by pressing a bit more hard. Um, and you see at once it becomes this very like covers, yeah. And then I can change this color by putting on top both darker, it becomes darker. Yeah, then, um, and like also you follow the same rules of mixing. Yeah? So if you, if I take here, if I, I have blue and then I put on top yellow and it becomes green. Yeah, so the same rules of colors apply if, if you mix, um, um, yes, also red and yellow, you become uh, orange and so on. So um, it's, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think pretty much that's um, um, like we, we started painting and then we explore, yeah, maybe more. But, um, yeah, so like try to focus on having pastel like moving lightly or some in some parts you just hardly press and then it covers and mixing yeah but I'll, I'll be I'll be guiding um, so um, I suggest we start slowly with the people uh, we start with the head um, we can move a little bit to the body then we do the big uh, dress, the, the skirts, and then in the end we do the background. Uh, yeah, so, so just um, depending, yeah, how many colors you have. Well, this is there is something browny in in, um, uh, in the head of hair. Is, so I just yeah, put. Uh, so of course, yeah, there is on top some darker, but first I sit this base color and yeah. so you can have it. Yeah, so I color the hair. Yeah, I see maybe there is some part of the hair is a bit lighter. Yeah, so some is this dark brown. Maybe I can do a stroke of orange somewhere here in the middle. Yeah, it lightens a bit up since it's the head shape. So of course there is this light um, transition. And we can do the head of uh, the other. So a bit different brown. Yeah. And, and here again, I apply kind of pressing harder. Yes. So it's just kind of sits. Yeah. Maybe the, the borders of the hair, I can press less harder. So then it leaves more like fluffy, fluffy lines. Yeah, so Yeah, approximately. Uh, then I suggest we take just the white um, uh, white stick, and we can go around the ballerinas where they have yeah those uh, white parts. So here is like on the face and the neck a little bit. Um, yeah, and later maybe we will. Um, not all of them we will leave like really white. We will cover a bit with the um, gray, but still it's, so here on the dress, the one part of the shoulder is also the, and, 
Yeah, so on in the hand as well. So it just kind of um, yeah, all of those. And the face of the other also with the nose. Yeah, and here again I press kind of hard. So it's um and at once it's leaving the space. The arm of the other. Something like this. And yes, then um, the body, it depends. So, for example, yes, I have this paper colored in ochre. And you see the, um, the backs are with this ochre color. So, but anyway, like you can take, I know here I have something like olive brown, something light brown um, and gray as well. Yeah, so, and just play around a bit, like some little strokes, maybe here where the neck is a bit, is a bit darker. Yeah, this, this part of the back is not easy. It has lots of lots of moments. Um, yeah, also in this part here, kind of the anatomics are important because those dark parts, those shadows, they're not just by some chance there. It's because the yeah, some bones are moving and that's how the shadow is created. So if you put it um somewhere else, then the body feels um, differently. Yes, I, I use also dark brown at this moment. Like if it feels too, yeah, you can stroke also these darker lines where the hand, if it, you go and it's like, wow, too, too big, then uh, you can take just the pencil and, or wait later we do the pencil lines and yeah, I can do like with the, dark brown also on the top of the hair a bit. Uh, um, Jane, also, sorry. Yes. You took the, the um, black yes. one for this? I, I take, so I'm kind of uh, playing, yes. So when I paint, so I took gray and I took light brown and now I have also dark brown. And I use them, let's say parallel. Yeah, I've, so I've did some, dark parts of the hair um, and this, this shadow uh, at, at the back and then I take let's so, say yeah gray and even on top um, of this brown I can go with gray tell me Maria. and for the ones who don't have because I only have 12 I think one two three four mm -hmm. five, yes um, can I just use the black and then how do I make, make gray with white yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so I will now open also my 12th color set and I will try then um, kind of follow because then yeah maybe it will be easier for me. Yeah, then let's take like you have gray now? No. No, you don't have no. gray. Then um, uh, you have light brown. The light brown? Yeah. Um, then it, it means then you will use a lot of white. And that means that, let's say, because even if I put the black or um, yes, somewhere like, let's say where I put, yeah, and then I put white on top and it becomes gray. Yeah, so mm -hmm. light okay. whitens everything up. So if you need light brown, if you need light, if you need gray, you take black and white on top and um, yeah. So let's say there is also there is like blue shadows on the back of the of the girl, and here I take uh, some dark blue, yeah, and then I go just on top and with white, and it becomes becomes lighter. Yeah? So of course for those who have a big set, 
you just choose yeah this tone and there are many tones um, already like done this uh, light blue and um, yeah but I'll, I'll try to use the, the 12 sets so then it's um, yeah. um, what for example could be uh, important is that um, for example we use now white to lighten some parts but then it's very easy to get let's say carried away with where the light and shadow parts are and then your shadow parts will be looking white and bright so this is something you want um, kind of define for yourself and um, follow so let's say we're on the back of this girl on the right yes and those white strokes it's the light but those orangey and bluish it's the shadow part of her back so don't make it too bright right to make it more pale yeah then you can add gray on top yeah um or a few like strokes of um, um, black and just then with finger maybe so huh? and but of course it's hard marina i i tell you honestly it's um so maybe just try to kind of um play around but it will be hard to get it like very precise very um, um with, with just with 12 colors um yeah, and it's also like no rush because it takes time. Yeah, I constantly put one color, take another, do some lines, yeah, and then take another color to mix. I did the black line and now I go on top with some brown because maybe the line felt too um, too strong. Yeah, so um, yeah. And, Yeah, so for example, I put brown and then on top I go with white. If it, it's too pale, I can go with brown on top again. Yeah, kind of mixing. Yeah, sometimes maybe it's not white, you, you add yellow. Yeah, so it also um, changes. Yeah, so um, try kind of find some play mode with, with those pastels. But I constantly change. I put one color, take another, take one, take another. Um, yeah. So for example, we did all those white parts on the back. Now you can take light blue and yeah, play around with this blue. Um, Uh, yes, and um, and and again the same story with the back of the other girl. Then there are very light parts on this part of the dress, and some light parts on the start of the back. But kind of the part of the back that is connected to the head, this one is in the shadow. So this one you should do uh, more grayish. Yeah. Um, so. When you paint, try not to get confused where the light and where the shadow is, or kind of constantly um, checking as with yourself. And under the arm, it's darker because it's uh, again shadow there. So I put light blue there, then I put dark blue on top, and then maybe I go with the black also a bit, uh, the border and um, so it's also maybe depends how one um, tends to paint. Um, like I do constantly jumping, so I, I'm working on one part, 
and uh, I take one color, but then maybe I jump with this color to some other side of the painting and then come back. Uh, you can find your way, you know, how much you work on one area with different colors till it's finished and uh, but um, yeah, ask, ask please if uh, what's um, like Karen also how you feel with the I like the pastels. I mean, I'm making a big mess, but that's kind of me, really. I often make big messes. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes mess is, is good, it's working. Yeah. I don't mind messes. Yeah, it's um, kind of work in little areas and yeah, put, put one, one color there, one color there then I just if it feels all too messy dark then I take white and go a bit on top to lighten up and so, yeah also if, if it feels um yeah you can kind of finish your the backs of the girls till some stage and maybe we can better jump to the skirts so then it feels a bit, um, there is a big, a bigger area to work because the backs, of course, they are very detailed and so then maybe it's um, yeah, my fault, maybe we shouldn't have started with the backs because they're a bit more complicated, just like, but you have to do them anyway. Um, So, um, Marina, which blues do you have? So, do you have light and dark blue? I have only light and dark, yeah. So, it's, it's called a a Fatalo and mm -hmm. uh, Ultramarine. Fatalo and Ultramarine. All right, perfect. I will also, let me see which ones have. But to be honest, um, like what I'm doing, it looks so bad. It looks like a complete mess. And I don't even know how to... Because I'm mixing and it looks so like I think I'm doing it wrongly, like mechanically, like not it's not the paint, it's just me. Um, because in your case, it looks like it's mixed, mm -hmm. and in mine, it's like um, maybe try try to send dirty. Me. Maybe yeah, we it's very dirty. I, I will I will send you. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because... I haven't really mixed mine. I've just gone over it, Marina. To be honest. Yeah but, I do. yeah, but when I go over, then it just wears off. Oh. <laughs> or maybe it's just my technique. <laughs> I don't know. No, it, it's, it's unbelievable. It's really bad. Uh, and even when I now look at it like this, you, you can see the gouache under it. <laughs> okay, don't okay. Come on. Okay, yeah, no, 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 it's not that, <laughs> that bad, actually. No, 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 no. I, I, I see your painting now um look we're gonna um just where the um, the red hair girl add her a little bit of the face maybe on top so then she also looks a bit um yeah also maybe how the, like with the white or um uh try maybe um so the light light oh, do you have the light gray uh, sorry brown let's say i have ochre and ochre, the, yeah, orange. Ochre. the ochre is perfect take ochre Mm -hmm. You can even even go like more also on these white parts, and um, so like where your cheek is, and then um, yeah, if needed, you can repeat some white dots on top. Um, yeah, but um, and also you can go a bit around on other your white spots so they are not so white. Then you can do a bit of let's say ochre, yeah, to, to lower the, this white intensity, just kind mm -hmm. of, yeah, lightly on top, and then you can even with your finger smash it a bit, right, 
try using your finger to kind of blend ochre into these white spots. Um, yeah. Because yeah, if you don't have um, gray, then it's better actually the opposite, put black and then white on top, but maybe also the opposite. Let me try, because it should also work. And... Yeah. Yes, because if I like, I want to make gray, and I put uh, I have white. I put on top black. It still looks dark black. Then I need to to use my white again on top. Yeah. So, uh, but with black, of course, it's a bit. It's very harsh. I mean, it stays um, still like pretty dark. So it's not pressing hard yeah so yeah without grades kind of it's um, actually like painting with oil pastels the secret is actually having much more all those soft colors yes not the bright ones because the good picture the good portrait or something will consist with lots of this like sienna or her yeah this grayish or this pink, light, light pink uh, colors. And some of them will be this bright. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, having, so you can go in the shop and you buy also separate some of these special uh, tones. And mostly, like, you discover that you need actually those ones, but not this bright pink, bright blue. Yeah. Um, yeah, Marin, so, yeah, kind of. Um, with ochre, yes, somewhere maybe a bit black and just blend a bit. But no, your your girls are good, yeah? Just this white looks kind of too bright. So we need just add, because here I was in my white, I was adding some gray. And that's why it looks a bit more, I like the... Mm -hmm. Well, I managed a bit with the blue. It looks a bit grayish as well yeah. when I put the blue, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Very, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I just don't understand why it's so like when I just go over it, it does not blend, it just moves paint away. I, I don't understand. Maybe it's my, my mm -hmm. pastels, but yeah, yeah, it's kind yeah. of like it scrapes away. Yes, yes, yes. The layer, and then <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid that it's, it's because you have this maybe, um, not, not that prof prof like professional. I'll show artist. you. Well, because these ones are from a, actually a really good shop in Porto. Uh -huh. um, I will show you. Uh, can you see? Me? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh -huh. the, oh, the Van Gogh. The yeah. Van Gogh. Good. Yes, yeah, I actually heard lots of complaints about Van Gogh, really? especially for the oil pastels. Like, for, they're producing oil paints or acrylics, but mm -hmm. um, somehow. Um, Van Gogh, I think because they are harder, um, yeah. they're like a huge world in these old pastels brands mm -hmm. and like, so um, like you saying that it moves, yeah. it makes me think uh, that exactly because they are harder, mm -hmm. so they're not blending on top. Well, it means then you just kind of try uh, like mm -hmm. putting, if you put the second color on top, then you put it lighter, like your touch, you know, or maybe mm -hmm. even just kind of touching, dotting on top. Yeah. Yeah, and then a bit. I just move in or... circles now, <laughs> and it looks better yeah. when in circles. Uh, sorry, Jules, you said something. We interrupted you. That's all right. Uh, I just wonder if it's the paper. Get yourself a piece of cardboard. If you've got any cardboard, are you recycling? Have a look and try that. See if that makes any difference. Hmm. Ah, you mean like on cardboard? Yeah, try a bit of cardboard or something, you know, like a cereal packet or something and see if that yeah. works. Because if it is like Evie said, if they're really hard, they probably need something harder to work on. Uh, yeah, no, you're right, because I, I just uh, I just used the cardboard of my block, of the paper block. And indeed, it looks really different when I sketch yeah, it. Yeah, it's probably what it is, because like, you know, you say Evie, wouldn't it? They're, they're really hard. Yeah. 
And this paper is for uh, aqua um, um, watercolors. Yeah. yeah. But did you also cover it with acrylics, or did you cover it with the um... uh, gouache? Gouache. Oh, okay. Because you know, gouache should be should be nice, but. Um... It's all right. <laughs> well, just it. somehow, yeah. Like, <laughs> take, take it as an experiment, and no um, if you prefer, also maybe proceed on this cardboard whitely, like the discard, make discards, and then add the bodies, and no, maybe... no, don't worry, don't worry. It's... No, I, I will try to figure out. <laughs> it was um... a lot of work doing the sketch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I mean that's why we're here. We try experiment and. Yeah, so the issues you have, maybe it's also, um, yeah, um, yeah, let's do this curves and it will be more fun and more kind of uh, something is there. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, then, of course, uh, try to spot all the uh, some differences in colors, so not just one big spot of um, blue. Yes, sometimes then also, since we've did the the ochre color, the paper, yeah? So it might mean sometimes you need to put just white as the kind of base and then go with your uh, blue on top, yes? Because otherwise um, uh, the background, yeah? It, it works very nice for the body and for the, um, background what we did that we painted with ochre but for the skirt it might um, not give you this uh, nice transparency feeling yeah so um, and again yeah pressing somewhere I press hard the yeah so when I see those parts with the shadows then I just put a big layer there and um, And, and those parts with the transparency, I'm putting first the white chalk. Yeah, so kind of I prepare the, the base and then on top I go with the, with the blue and yeah, then can go again on top white if it became too blue, so. Um. But Evie, I've got to go, but I've done a quick picture. <gasps> Okay. What's I've done that? it on black paper. Oh, oh Jules. Love your creativity. Because I didn't have time to paint anything. So let me just send it. It's a bit different. It's quite long, but never mind. Oh, huh. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. It out. Oh, so that's amazing. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, oh, I was just sort of went into the drawer and went, what is that? Oh, card. <laughs> so, there we go. It's so what good I to mean, see then. you all. I've missed you all so much. Yes, missed you, missed you too, Jules. And um, yeah, it's a bit like you do so much portraits I've seen lately. Yeah, I'm on another one now. She's got a turban on her head. So I will put it on, um... oh yeah, I could send it. Actually, I'll send the other one because the, the others haven't seen, have they, that portrait I've done. Mm. I'm on a bit of a, I can't stop myself at the moment. I keep painting portraits of people. This is, yeah, so a ballerina a little bit to your, the story of persons, people. Yeah, it could be, I must admit, but yeah, I'm doing, well, let me send, I'll send some of the ones on to, uh, nobody can see because you're not on. In, this uh, one I love, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and there's this one, my husband says, oh, it looks like Sade. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Huh? Uh, is it acrylics? Yeah. The lips, lips and looks like mwah, you want to kiss them. <laughs> and it's got um, bronze and gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but at the moment, I'm doing it quickly. I'll just send you some before I go. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. She's got a lot of work to go on it. But it's supposed to be like um, primitive art, as they used to say, but it's not. Um, it's talk. It's like I'm talking about Africa, but also the British mm -hmm. side of things. Anyway, I'll send it to you. What I mean. Yeah. Oh, look! Check at these guys. Wow. Oh. So I haven't. She's not finished. She's a real challenge. Hmm. What just oh, patience? Wow. Just like working on one, like working on lips one day. Uh, 
give it right. a lot of time in wording because I could sit outside with my easel, you see. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's that red, white, and blue for the British side in there as well, then dripping down. But love the orange. Still, going, <laughs> <laughs> still it's still been art, even though things have been a bit all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, everyone. Happy, Happy Easter, Easter Jules. Jules. Yeah, thanks for, for yeah, staying. Lots of love. <laughs> anyway, take care. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye, bye. <laughs> All right, our pro artist. <laughs> She's, she joined us. Um, Karen, share, share with me. How's your, um, or guys, yeah, Mel and Darren also, how's your feelings with them? Okay, let me tell uh, Now I'm, now I'm, um, Uh, uh, uh. I'm quite enjoying this. I don't know yeah. if I'm doing it right, but I'm quite enjoying it. I think I've gone a bit ahead of you, though. Yeah, if anyone like wants to send, feel free to to. But if you like enjoy the process and you like it, then that's of course the best. Yeah, and and Marina also, please feel free to. Mm -hmm. send as much as you need yeah it's because uh, i feel, I feel a bit, started i feel a bit worried and um... don't worry uh, i i started the skirt and i um it looks much better with the skirt mm -hmm. uh -huh. Karen is doing <laughs> the... <laughs> love it love love your uh, creation uh you know it's uh, with a different wow super cool yeah, so you see, you already worked, like experimented with the background. Yeah, so how it's, um, for example, yeah, the shadows that you put on the orange, and then you can go again with the orange on top of it, of these shadows, and then it will help to blend them. So you will still still have this uh, a bit darkened spot. So I did here the same. I had the orange base, then I went with this, I even took actually greenish color. I think that's, it's what like... I'm, that's what I'm using is green, olive green Perfect. for the shadows. I used the same, you see, you had the, you have a, and still it looked a bit uh, maybe strong. So I went just with orange on top to, to melt it in between. And uh, let me check a bit more your painting. Uh, really love how you got the, the bodies, you know, it's, um, like and and the girl with the light hair oh, is is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Very very nice. Yeah. So can work uh, a bit more now for the skirts. So the skirts also yeah. Uh, so nice. The you did the white for the base. Now can go in if you choose the celestial or. Um, um, I'm using light blue at the moment. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, only also the legs are missing or the ones that are... Yeah, they, you can't see them. They are. Yeah, yeah, um, sure, I've, sure. I've only penciled yeah. them so far. Yeah, yeah, but I see that the pencils, yes, very good. Yeah. And yeah, so for example, I, I do the skirt and it's also I kind of all the time jumping. I put, put white. Um, I put some blue if it looks too bright and uh, uh, I can also play with different blues if you if you have yeah so um, especially of course when we go for the shadow part yeah, then yeah but so this blue that I use for the shadow part I can also maybe add somewhere as the mix yeah. I think like pastels they require maybe not not rushing and kind of taking time yes because it's um, kind of just you get into the process like you put one put this try to mix um, Yeah, 
what also is a may, might be a good tip sometimes changing the um, way you so if i do the vertical st strokes sometimes if i go on top with white maybe i go like almost perpendicular you know and sometimes it helps maybe to kind of blend uh, you know get rid of the spots and the finger of course yeah so i imagine like the ones that karen has they're good yeah the big side good quality so they're soft and with the with the finger you can also blend actually very nicely um, marina you have only so of course start like with this i think better ultramarine it's lighter put lots of white on top and um yeah that's it you you i don't think you can do and then just play a bit somewhere you leave the um, um, like almost even white yeah, and somewhere a bit more um, yeah and then also thinking of course the skirts there yeah make make it different the, the ends of the skirts are a bit almost as transparent we even see some orange there yes i was even adding a bit of orange there at the end of skirts uh, afterwards so it's kind of to show the transparency and um and it across i really like how the skirt looks um these strokes uh you know like Vert not vertical, but you know, like in the direction of the skirt, they look really good with mm -hmm. very, very nice. my pastels. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm happy. Um, you know, let's say we do the skirts, we can add um, the legs, and then when we do those black lines, it will also make it all look um, yeah, much, uh, much better. Yeah, so sometimes, for example, I did this the shadow part of the skirts here on the right side. I've put some blue. Now I put some black on top of this blue. And then I go again with the same blue, let's say, on top. And it feels, if it feels too, too dark, here is like, so for those who has a big set, like, yeah, like current, for example, I also have two grays, yes? And here, one can be a bit careful. So if it's the shadow part, I would take this gray that is darker, that it's also the name dark gray. And then I use it, yeah, you know, kind of to maybe blend a bit or something. Because if I go with the light one, sometimes it can lighten it too much, but experiment, like maybe now it's it worked okay. But what I want to say, that's the story about generally analyzing your painting and seeing, okay, where are the shadows and where are the lights, yeah? So if the under the head, the hand here is the shadow, here on top of the back behind the neck is the shadow, because this is then gives this um, feeling of the body, yeah, the shape it is. And if I, let's say, sometimes I want to lighten up and I go with my white, yes, it lightens up, but in an altogether painting, it starts looking the same like here. So then now I better go and yeah, darken it uh, with, um, with, with gray. So for example, I was kind of a bit playing with these both grays because one has more white pigment in it and some even don't have the white pigment in, in um, like also the brown. Some browns you put and you feel how they lighten up at the, the whole story. Right, so Darren, all right, all right, aha. Uh -huh. check, check it out guys, nice Darren. Um, wow. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not bad at all. You're ready with all the shadows. With the, yeah. So let me. Um, feels good. Yeah. So I mean, if you want some comments, um, I can try to find. <laughs> but go for it. Um, the skirts, for example, I feel that maybe it's not ballerina skirts. Maybe it's um, yeah, because maybe like. Maybe you can manage making them a bit more fluffy, the ends, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so as I said, like, for example, when I painted this one, I actually even then later got again with some orange inside. Or you go just a bit more like this, that in the start we were talking, this uh, sketching, yeah, with the pencil, like not pressing hard, but just light. Mm -hmm. And then it just makes a bit more like line outside lines of yeah. the skirts, yeah. So, but um, cool. Well, um, yes, maybe a bit more shadow under the skirt and the leg on this right side. So where yeah. this long leg and just kind of all together. Mm -hmm. Because even on the wall here, you feel it's still kind of, you have this really bright red yeah. is, is there. And it is there here on the horizontal, but like under the, so you can even take, let's say some, this olive brown, uh, yeah, brownish and just kind of all together have this area because it's all under the skirt. Mm -hmm. oh, cool, nice. <laughs> Jules is following up. Um, yes, so I'll do also the legs. Oh yeah, and you see you did also by yourself all the black ones. And you did it with the pastel, right? Or you used also the pencil? Mm -hmm. Pretty much all pastels. Right? Yeah, it's also, for example, when the pastels are new, then of course they have, they're like square. Mm -hmm. And then it's easy, it's nice to do the thin line. But um, of course, once you paint more, it becomes round and then, then you kind of have to catch. So when, uh, uh, how it works, when you want to make some precise line, you say you're doing an eye, yeah, or a nose and you need, yeah. And sometimes of course you sit your pastel and it does the line not where you thought it's gonna be, Mm -hmm. Because of course the end is all very shapey. So it's just you kind of sometimes maybe try on separate, like you hold, you try, yeah, okay. And then then you kind of know where it's gonna be <laughs> painting your thin line, something. Um, okay. Yeah, so doing the legs, for example, if I want them also to be a bit lighter, I can put white as the base and I, let's say, go with yellow on top and then my yellow is not that uh, bright. And yeah, and then I go with the uh, or sienna for some uh, lowering and yeah, but dark, very nice. Yeah. And then the shadow on the leg, under the skirts. Yeah. And yeah, and then with, like it's, I take the pencil and of course then it's much easier. Um, and but also when you do these black outlines yeah try also be careful not to do them everywhere and uh, 
and somewhere you do the line more um, yeah uh, it's bigger um, and some somewhere it's more thin so it's not not um, Yeah, not um, <laughs> not, not, not sure how this oil pastel experiment. Next time for for the next week, no one will come to paint with oil pastels. <laughs> I will. <laughs> you will? Good, Karen. Yes, I'm, I was hoping you will say this because um, I'm a bit worried if the new medium, you know, if how... Um... I'm loving it. I just can't understand why I've never discovered this before. Oh, so nice. Then we can be all pastel partners because <laughs> I, the more I do them, the more I discover. Um... And for example, so I've painted both uh, also these, um, how do you call it, the, this par House of Parliament, yes, from UK. Uh -huh. And um, I actually find it hard, I have found it harder than the ballerinas, although it kind of looks, yeah, it's yeah, fog, but exactly to give these, um, I, I had to work a lot to give this kind of foggy feeling and, um, like ballerinas was more like okay here is blue here is orange yeah, yeah. some some grayish for the body some ochre and um, but uh, like I think Parliament took me a bit more time because it's uh, work and oh so there is one more thing I will just um, explain so you know uh, also Karen um, like all pastels since they of course they consist from oil uh, you can actually use like this linseed oil or gender any other oil that you also use for oil uh, paints yeah when you paint so sometimes you can take with the brush and especially if you have like a lot and with the brush and with oil you can also blend yes you have to be careful because your paper will be pretty oily and it will take longer to dry uh, and and honestly, every time I've tried, I never liked it. Um, somehow it starts moving my, yeah, paint the old pastels and becomes some emptinesses. But just generally, so you know, there is this also kind of, some people use it techniques that, um, as you can just like a little bit in just in, in the tap of the bottle of the oil. Yeah, you just like, dip in a little bit the brush and then you can so you can later let's say experiment how it works for you and so just kind of to uh, yeah. uh, yes i'm also using this olive green some this red in between then can darker with the darker brown and yeah. Marina, how are you there? <laughs> are you surviving the old pastel story? Oh. And the males one comes. Oh, man, you always manage the have it tender <laughs> your <laughs> your works. Um, yeah, the skirts very nice. Um, a little bit, yes. This this red spot inside. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. like it. I what what I would suggest take. Let's say palette knife or takes just scratch it out, yes, yeah. uh, with the um, the end of the brush with anything, yeah, with the end of the pen. Just take it off, 
because sometimes I know like you try to correct, you go on top, but it's, it's get just messy. And, um, and then you put maybe just even maybe just better something, the same green that you have around and just with maybe brownish and um, yeah. So, and, 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 and go a little bit. So from this, so I'm still talking about the same spot where you have this red inside and go a little bit on top of the wall. Yeah, just like a bit vertically. Mm -hmm. You know, it somehow shines, so I'm not sure you can, I'll try just with words explaining, okay? So where your sh green shadow with the red spot is touching the uh, wall, then just go a bit vertically to connect with this shadow under this curve and the leg that is on the right side, yeah? So all this just kind of join together the, yeah? So like here and Nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little bit also the leg of the leg on the left. Just add a bit gray shadow on top. Yeah. So, but not on top of the white, but kind of next to the white because, like, then you will make it a big uh, bigger this leg. Yeah. So it, it looks that you just forgot like. You've noticed, aha, there is light, so I put here white, and then like need to come back and do the so on, on my drawing it will be like here, yeah. So like yeah, this this side on top of it. Um, okay. And, and Marina, okay, okay, okay. Um sorry, so, you asked and I was mute and I was talking about <laughs> oh, okay. <Sorry. laughs> Um, so let's take blue and a little bit, so the uh, left side, and somehow so you can see this, but so the same side I was just talking to Mel to put the shadow on this leg on the left, we take just blue and a bit have the skirt bigger, so we shorten the white leg, yes, because it looks a bit unreal, uh, like a bit strange, so just put more skirt, on the um, uh, just more skirt, yeah, the blue one, and cover some some black, yeah. Then I think it will. And then also maybe I would go like good job on creating gray. Imagine it wasn't wasn't easy, um, but still try maybe if you take again the like black, maybe also not pressing very hard your black, but still kind of try to unite. So we start from the shadow under, yeah, first leg on the left, and then I prolong the shadow till where the white starts. Uh, of, okay, of the so make it like, okay. Yeah, and then the same, this shadow, like already on the other side of the leg, and Again, like a bit similar, like with Mel, going all together with the shadow, just prolonging till even up, yeah, till the shadow on mm -hmm. upper part of, and uh, yeah, so the, the, this uniting, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you remember it's also generally always when we paint anything, we unite. And, and then the shadows on the wall, I would just go on top a little bit again with orangey. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they are nice, they are there, uh, but um, so to avoid them looking like two spots, <laughs> yeah, just again, yeah. like if you have orange or even yellow, you kind of again refreshing them up. Huh? Yeah, look, Mel, very nice. Uh, you, yeah, it's now you like have this that there is some red, so it's not boring shadow that there is only uh, yeah, something green, uh, but it's not jumping, yeah, like something, some strange spot. And it looks very nice with those reds on the wall and the floor. Cool, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so how, how you guys, uh, Darima, how you like pastels? Or I acrylics? like pastels. I quite like it today, actually, yeah. Oh, cool. I keep trying to tell them because Mel's not, Mel reckons mine's better than hers, but I, I can see hers very much 
I think it's Mane or something, like, not Mane, but it's very sort of uh, one of those sort of types, just for colour she's got this very sort of uh, that sort of style, which I think hers is brilliant. <laughs> Will you will you share it later with the in the in the chat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know who's yeah. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, awesome. very, mine but, colour seems to be very intense. When males is just that sort of nice pastel type. But it's, we're always like that. Yours is always yeah. very strong. <laughs> I, I like Mel very much. Your background. I mean, it's um, you went. You it's but it's just paint. You didn't went with oil pastels all around your background, did you? Yeah, yeah. I've been. Uh, it's got some oil pastels there too. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a lot of job. <laughs> <laughs> then something even your hand might get. Because uh, I love how it's uh, pale. How it got. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I think with Mel. I think with. I think if we both put gouache on, I think Mel had a... I had a very light space. Yeah, yeah. Mel's, was, Mel's was very lighter than mine. So uh, <laughs> I think as a consequence, she, she has more of a sort of pastel type look, whereas mine's more vivid colour-wise. Yeah. Um, awesome. yeah, I was also um, experimenting a, a little bit with this, preparing the paper with gouache, and I found that... Um, Having it more pale, so just more white in this gouache yeah. mix is will work better in the end when you do the oil pastels. Um, because also, I will show you. So this uh, I experimented with this purple parliament building, and I had one like painted pale purple, and the other one I painted without white paint, just mixed blue and red and um yeah on the dark it was harder to paint i think like adding white color as the base is um is better also just like for future if you paint and um, let me see okay yeah, so, so this is the um, oh. yes and so what for example for karen what i wanted to show like here these two spots it was me trying to blend with this brush and oil, uh, yeah? Yeah. And they, they, of course, like it's, they say, or here or else, and then later I can't get in with, because then it's all oily and strange. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, try it if you want. And, um, yeah, guys, this one, <laughs> this one was harder. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe, but we, yeah, it's, um, of course, also lots of kind of um, zoom, zoom, yeah, focus, yeah. But okay, we we then I hope you, yeah, we experiment the next next lesson and um, here it's kind of a bit more work in to make it look that there is foggy, there is the shadow, and that all together looks yeah. Remember like this uniting that all this shadow is. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> and Joe, Joe skips us. Um. <laughs> yeah. I think one of my arms has got a bit thin. Oh, yeah, you can not um. Maybe you can just. Um, I don't know if um, not taking the pictures, but yeah, show us just on camera. Can also uh, or the picture, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Mel Darren, you feel happy about with your ballerinas? Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought no. it was going to be too hard for me, but I was quite pleased. No, no, like the job you did with all the boom with the background is um, <laughs> like uh, your background. I really love it. Like it's it matches so nicely this curves and this pale. Like yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Let me get back with where I see Darren's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Darren's more expression and. Yeah, and shadow under the leg also. And... Okay, let's check the currents. Yeah. Okay, skirts are very nice. 
Yeah. Um, let me think. Yeah, just need to work more for, for the shadow under the skirt, the legs. Yeah. yeah. So if um, you continue, remember also kind of just uniting the shadow. Yeah. So it's good. It's normal to work. Let's say I start some part and here, like where the shadow is more uh, yeah, darker. But then later, anyway, I choose some in between color and kind of just unite. Also, even like catching this shadow of the skirt. Yeah, so it doesn't look like just a separate blue warm. It's it's all together. Yeah, so uniting doesn't matter what we're painting with pastels, acrylics, or um, yeah, it's um, and. Actually, now, for example, I think Karen, that you work, maybe not necessarily doing all these black accents. Yeah, they, in general, of course, I like and I think they give some yeah, touch ups, but your one looks very, very gentle. Yeah, so you decide, you choose how you feel um, about um, yeah, those, those blacky, blacky lines. Um, yeah, like where were the, like, say what I'm putting now. Yeah, just kind of. Um, and they give they give nice accent. Um, I'm Zhenya. Yes, I will have to go as well. Of course, yeah, uh, Marina. Well, thank you so um, much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had. Yeah, fun of course. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you, and see you next week. Yeah. Thank you, Marina. See you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Still see. See you next week. Yeah, okay, well Darren, good job. Yeah, see you, see you next time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, um, yeah, Karen, we can stay because I was talking so much, I didn't even get halfway with my um so we can feel free, we can stick to well if you're happy to stay, so am I, because I'm quite happy to. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to stay because so yeah, let's just hang out. And... Do you make a living as an artist? Um, at the moment, I'm trying to let's say uh, to get at this uh, uh, face. So um, yeah, I, I, so I have these lessons on on Saturdays and. I have also one children group and uh, so well I, then I paint something some myself um, and then try to sell so it, it's it's still like on on a on a way on a journey to but yes the the aim will be to yeah to, to earn a living with art and oh, let's let's see how it goes because <laughs> yeah and I also travel, so now it's also my experiment, yes, with um, taking it all with me. And uh, yeah. and, and what's your artist uh, journey, uh, let's say? Um, well, I'm an office manager. Uh -huh. I was on a, many, many years ago, I was an actor. <gasps> um, and that's, and I've always been a bit arty. Mm -hmm. And I've always dabbled a bit with all sorts of things mm -hmm. um and just in the last few years i worked for this great organization in cornwall so cornwall's kind of the southwest tip of england mm -hmm. and i work for this great organization that works with museums and galleries mm -hmm. um and just kind of having although i'm their office manager i i just i've just decided that when i by the time i retire Mm -hmm. I just I want to be making some money from my art. Yes, yes, yes. And I and but I'm just using this next four or five years, not that I'm retiring in five years' time, but I understand. Yeah. To um develop my practice. And I like these classes because they really take me out of my comfort zone. Oh, cool. <laughs> Which I think, I think it's really important because you kind of get stuck in a bit of a rut, don't you? Where I do. Mm. I have. Yeah. Oh. And it just it just keeps me practicing. So, like you know, I don't really draw people. Yes. So this week I've kind of done a couple of online YouTube videos and mm -hmm. had a look at, and, you know, how do you draw people and, yeah. you know, so 
of been sketching of an evening which otherwise I probably wouldn't do so it's kind of good to have that discipline of yeah oh I'm happy it's working towards something every week um I, I for me this making um preparing these lessons it's actually it's also the way to practice more and simply paint more and um and some, so exactly maybe this week i wouldn't be painting that much but since you know there is lesson then you of course you work and constantly discover um and um, but i think yes like since like we enjoyed this process then it's just logical just do it more and the yeah the thing will come out and um um, of course, for example, what um, I discovered for selling uh, art and making living out of it, it really needs a lot of marketing. Yeah. And somehow you just have to accept that even like, let's say 60% will be marketing and 40 is your artwork, painting and doing. So either you're lucky and let's say maybe some younger, yeah, um, your niece, daughter, and they do all these Instagram and all these social media stuff because, yeah, by, by your own, it's, um, it's it's not very, very easy. I mean, of course, all these famous, like, uh, um, they, they spend maybe money and they have the equipment, the people, yeah, like, yeah. Two, and there are five people working just on that. And then, of course, so, I mean, it's just like some of my discoveries of course of, um, uh, yes and i have to say social media is not my favorite thing to do mm. and i i do you know and and, and i'm i am aware that i'm gonna have to do it but i'm just like oh yeah. really i i can yeah i understand i can i also don't um I never had this social media, let's say, posting what I eat, posting where oh, I go. Yeah. It's like, so when you need to start doing it, then you kind of, it's learning new skills first, of course. Yeah. And there, for example, I would give suggestion just like building your system. Also, let's say choosing one area. You, you choose, let's say, YouTube or you choose Facebook. Yeah. Or, yeah. So not doing all of them because then you just go crazy yeah and um and still it will work if it works when you do it constantly yeah so it's just you say okay on mondays i do this then two days i can rest maybe and then yeah thursday i do this and and then, then of course it becomes easier once you did the same process yeah 40 times then i do have to set aside time to do it though uh, you know i have to kind of say yeah 20 minutes this evening 